Just imagine there's music here. I'm too lazy to upload some today. On today's episode of The Frustrated Chef, we make gluten-free pasta mac and cheese. Again. Only this time, it's gonna be... Uh, I already forgot what I was gonna say. Say that again. This time it's going to be tasty. This time it's gonna be tasty. So we've got our gluten-free pasta. We have butter in a pot for some reason. I'm not sure. I'm not paying too close attention to the ingredients. This is milk. Actually, almond milk, so we'll see what happens. And over here, we have cheese. Meant to. So I said cheese, and guess who's begging? Look at me. Are you a beggar? Are you a beggar? Now I gotta wash my hands. It looks like the frustrated chef took her eye off of the pasta. Oh. Three minutes. A cup of cornstarch replaced with brown rice flour. Good old Bob's Red Mill. Now how am I gonna get this out of the bag? without spilling it everywhere. Great question. <laughs> hey, you're pretty smart. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Ooh, melty butter. There's something so satisfying about watching butter melt. Is this like an ASMR thing? I'm rinsing the pasta with cold water so it stops cooking. And yes, I am using the hose. So for the next five minutes, I'm going to be stirring this mixture. This is salt, butter, almond milk, and rice flour that is uh, meant to be cornstarch, but whatever. And uh, another funny thing happened while we're talking about it. We couldn't find this whisk. And... My lovely assistant said, Oh, it's really frustrating when you don't have the tools you need. Especially since we need a teaspoon and a half. No, it was a teaspoon and a quarter, right? A teaspoon and a quarter, and we only have the eighth. So we had to use two of those. Yep. By the way, I referred to her as my lovely assistant, but really she's the head chef tonight. So, uh, let's give credit where credit's due. Woo! That it would say on here how much of this equates to one slice of bread. Because most recipes talk about the bread. But I don't see that here. So They're trying to make us frustrated. Wow, I'm freaking weird. <laughs> Say that again. It doesn't appear to be thickening. It said medium heat. I is that if is that medium enough? Looks like it. I don't know. How many minutes has it been? Uh, five. Five? It's, about five. it's it's been it's been five minutes and it's not thickening. What's well, it about? Five. Okay, so are we missing something? It was uh, a quarter cup, replace... right? No. Go ahead. Well, this is the frustrated chef. We just realized that if we were substituting brown rice for the cornstarch, we needed a three to one ratio. Hopefully it's not too late. <laughs> Let's find out. No wonder it wasn't thickening. Now it's like boiling. I better turn it down. I'll whisk that bitch. Maybe whisk that a little bit first. Mm -hmm. This is not the order it was supposed to go in. That looks like it's already doing better. Look like it looks like it's already doing better. Should we still use the rest? Go that for it. Way. Go for it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's add the cheese. I don't want to spill the cheese. 
Yeah, we don't want to spill the cheese. Okay, signing off to stir this bitch. It's pretty thickened, but it's still pourable. Pour no, no, pourable. Like, you, we can pour it. <laughs> what do you mean it's horrible? <laughs> oh no. So what's the worst that could happen? We baked a cheesy cake? Yes. Yes. Alright, I need you to taste it and see if we succeeded. Pressure. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. Yeah, it's hot. All right, hang on. This is decent, we did good. Say that one more time. This is decent, we did well. Hooray, decent! And corn and tomatoes.